Hi, this is David Harper of Bonic Turtle. I wanted to illustrate the idea of over collateralization, which is very common in structured finance. Over collateralization is a form of internal credit enhancement. To illustrate, I have here a diagram of a generic securitization. We could start with the reference portfolio. The reference portfolio contains credit sensitive assets. Typically, we wouldn't see all of these different types of assets together in the reference portfolio. I just wanted to show there can be lots of different types. The reference portfolio could contain leveraged loans, corporate bonds, asset-backed securities, even other CDOs. The key idea here is that the reference portfolio contains assets that are credit sensitive, meaning the owner of these credit sensitive assets, the originator, is exposed to the credit risk, the risk that they will default. In a securitization, the special purpose vehicle or entity affects a transfer of credit risk away from the originator and to the investors who are willing to pay for the exposure to the credit risk. The special purpose vehicle can do this by either purchasing the assets or by selling credit protection and therefore gaining synthetic exposure to the credit risk on the assets. The special purpose vehicle does this by issuing securities to the investors in exchange for their cash. So again that cash can be used to buy the assets or to sell credit protection. What makes this a structured finance transaction is that the special purpose vehicle issues these securities in layers or tranches that have a hierarchy. So there may there will be investors who purchase the senior securities which will oftentimes constitute the majority maybe 80% and they will be at the top of the totem pole so to speak and they'll, then there will be a few or several layers of mezzanine tranches and at the bottom the equity or residual tranche and the first and primary form of internal credit enhancement is simply this idea of subordination that as defaults happen on the underlying assets in the reference portfolio those losses will first impact the equity tranches before they start to breach these higher level layers of securities. So the senior tranche here is firstly primarily protected by subordination. The other common technique used is over collateralization and to understand that it's helpful to think about this and from the perspective of the balance sheet remember these are credit sensitive assets assets on the left and the securities that have been issued to investors are really liabilities they are obligations it claims on the cash flow generated by the reference portfolio so we have assets on the left liabilities on the right the idea of the over collateralization is that securities are issued to investors in an amount that does not quite equal the total value of the reference portfolio. So if the reference portfolio has a value of a hundred percent then maybe securities are issued in that total 98 percent of the value of the total reference portfolio. And so we have assets that are greater in value than the total value of the securities issued. And so if the securities represented 98% of the assets, we would have a 2% gap. Another way, and to put it another way, 2% of the credit sensitive assets have to default before even this equity, this residual, the lowest ranking tranche is breached. And so that's protection in addition to the subordination at least it's protection for the senior and mezzanine note holders so we have over collateralization is the issuance of securities that do not equal the total value of the reference portfolio such that the gap is the built-in protection 
So this is David Harper on the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.